So Tate, Tate has been banned. Yeah, from a everything. lot of mini Tates have been popping up out of the woodwork because of that. Because of vacuum. This is why. Um, just going on to the banning thing first. I like my misogynists and my racists right where I can see them, and I want them. <laughs> that's fair you know what that's yeah fair. yeah i want them in public i i think there's free freedom of speech for a reason it's so that people like the reason why I have freedom of speech is so that people can have consequences for their bad beliefs and their bad actions right and so having somebody like tate in the public eye means that everybody gathers around him and then you can see like oh that's where the dickheads are located don't go over there i can walk down this alley instead <laughs> So then wouldn't him being banned be that consequence? No, because it should be in different ways. Because if you ban him, that means that it's like um, all the rats leave, fly. They fly away and they go make their own nests elsewhere. Um, and now, like you say, with all these mini Tates coming out, there's a power vacuum for wankers. So now that Tate's gone, they're all going to vie for supremacy now. And and then they'll eventually get banned, but then you're driving them underground because Tate just can't use um, social media, but people can still access him. The same thing with Alex Jones. Alex Jones still had his own website. He still has his own following, oh. you know? So it's, it, all you're doing is driving it underground where we can't fucking see it. And then we- It was more no insidious when you can't yeah, see it. Exactly, exactly. Um, and so I think banning isn't the correct consequence. 